did you see this story about this venture capitalist that came out? Just now. So there's this guy named Michael Gogan. He used to be a partner at Sequoia, right? Like the, one of the biggest venture firms ever. Is he the uh, one who stole successful. money from them? No, he got fired because his girlfriend came out and accused him, uh, like sued him for, or accused him of, uh, of like sexual abuse. She said, you know, he's, I've been in a relationship with him for eight years or 10 years or something like that. And he's extremely abusive sexually to me and blah, blah, blah. Uh, she's a stripper that he met somewhere and then she became his girlfriend and then whatever. And, uh, the, the suit, he, he didn't lose the suit. He, you know, she kind of like, he got acquitted or whatever. Um, but, you know, still Sequoia was like, you know, we decided it's best to part ways. So a story came out in the Daily Mail. You know, it's good because it's in the Daily Mail, which is like, you know, just the, the, the trash of the trash. But it's the junk food. You can't resist. And um, basically, there was some wild shit about this guy. So here's the allegations that are in the article. The article says, Michael Gogan, uh, he basically, after he left Sequoia, he goes to Montana and he basically sets up his like estate in Montana. He owns like, I don't know, uh, 100,000 square feet of like space in, 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 of, of, of houses in, 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 in Montana. He is like the big fish there. He owns a bar. Under the bar, he created this thing called the Boom Boom Room. And the Boom Boom Room is where he takes like, you know, girls that he meets. And he, so this guy's on his fourth wife. The article talks about this spreadsheet of 5,000 women that he slept with. And it's Dude, just have full you, Have of, you done the, wait, say that again. Say the 5,000 thing again. A spreadsheet of 5,000 women that he slept with is okay, what, what so the article says. Do the math. If you, so if you, if this has happened over a 20 year period, yeah, 365 days times 20 is 7,300 divided by five. That means he had to have sex with a different woman every 1.5 every days. Other day. Yeah, every day and a half. Is that crazy? What? I don't believe that. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if he did it or he didn't. Sort of like the Wilt Chamberlain did this once where he claimed he slept with 10,000 women and people were like, that means you slept with two women a day. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, his response, by the way, he was like, yeah, sometimes it was three, though. <laughs> exactly. Most pimp response ever. So this guy, this guy's wild. So so he basically, um, he, there's tons of, uh, so what happened was, he had created this like security company to cover his tracks. And it's like a private security company. And he hired these like ex military people to run it for him. And they were kind of like his fixers. They're the ones who came out and exposed this whole thing and are now suing him for $800 million. And they're suing him because he basically made them do a bunch of stuff that like got them in trouble. So he'd have to pay off women that he would sleep with. Um, and oh they God. would have, to, he'd, he'd be like, you need to do this. Like go, I'll put money in your account. You pay her off. And, um, and eventually one guy, so he had a friend who, um, the story is he, he brings his daughters over to the friend's house, um, with their babysitter, but then he leaves with the babysitter, has sex with the babysitter. And the friend is like, dude, what the hell are you doing? You just have sex with the babysitter in my house. Like, um, this is messed up. And he's like, he calls him a pedophile and he's like, dude, uh, like, I don't, you know, don't, don't bring up my, my flaws. And like, you know, there's a one-time thing and blah, blah, blah. And the guy's like, no, oh, this is messed up. And he's like, starts threatening the guy. He threatens the guy and says, if you come out and say this, I'm going to like ruin you. And um, the guy's like, you know, F that. He then sleeps with the guy's wife to, as like, you know, part of this, uh, part of this process. And the guy gets really pissed and he's like, threatens to basically expose him for all the stuff that he's doing. Um, while he's meanwhile, like an investor and all this stuff, you know, leading this professional life, the guy's worth $5 billion, by the way. So he's, he's, he's a, he's a multi-billionaire himself. So the guy goes to his like security guy and says, we need to kill him. We, we have, this guy's getting too, he's too big of a risk. He threatens to bring everything down. We got to kill him. And don't, and there's and basically like in the article is like, don't like communicate anywhere except for Wicker, this like self-deleting text messaging app. Um, and the guy goes to him and says, hey, hey, like, he talks him off the ledge. No, let's not kill this guy, whatever. But that, that was like one of the allegations. And, and so people have come out against this guy, but he bribes the police. And so like multiple police chiefs have like lost their job because they failed to investigate this guy because he basically bought them off. And he how claimed, much do you think how much you think you'd have to bribe a Montana cop to shut up like a million dollars? I mean, yeah, I think I think nine out of 10 police officers would take a million to shut up. Oh, in my deep experience, bribing cops, I mean, I have no idea. Yeah, I think like half a million dollars would do, right? Like for a lot of these women, it's like jewelry. Uh, like he, he slept with one woman and then she got, uh, the husband found out, got divorced. And then he paid for, he bought her a five bedroom home and uh, also paid for her side of the divorce. And, uh, you know, that was like w one of the things that he did. And so he just had this like elaborate web of 
you know, crazy, like this crazy sexual life layered on to crazy, like payoffs and bribes and cover ups. And then like a whole company dedicated to like this private security company, whatever that means. And then like police bribery, like this is like a crazy ass three part movie. And then you look at this guy and he's just like this, you know, cookie cutter, white VC looking guy. It was like such a wild story, I thought. And um, yeah, sometimes you, truth is stranger than fiction. So I, um, I read, I, I, I read a little bit about like odd billion.